Hey everybody, the bong is back. Welcome to part 39 of Let's Play Final Fantasy 2, and this is brought to you by Game1.com. Once again, I picked the wrong door. Ah, fuck. I know it's around here somewhere. That's a given. Okay, we should be able to take this devil, Devil's Bloom out. Devil's Blooms, I mean. I think I gotta use two plural words. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Fine, I'm still in the Tower of Mysidia, and I'm pretty close to the end. What is this, like, floor, floor 8 now? Let me just double check, just to be sure. But yeah, we've come a long way. And once again, Ricardo's afflicted with a lot of shit. It's always him, for some reason. I mean, good thing I got Maria's spells really high, and you look at these levels. That's because I'm giving her the ultimate tome. You have to give your ultimate tome to pretty much like your best magic user, who has the highest level of magic spells. Because remember, ultima is affected. No, why'd I do that? As I was about to say before I made a dick move, ultima is affected by your magic levels. Every spell's combined level adds up to Ultima Strength, even Ultima's level itself. I don't know if it affects your weapon skill levels too, but if it does, you got a lot of leveling to do before Ultima can be really tough. I mean, some people say that Ultima is the ultimate black magic, but in FF2, it's the ultimate white magic. Yeah. What the hell? Okay. Okay, I'm confused here. Maybe I... Maybe I took the right door the whole time, like back at the end of the video. And ended up... Just going back for some reason, thinking it was the wrong way, only to find out it wasn't the whole time. Let me double check that. Ah, of course. I went the right way the whole time and actually left. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Clearly I was not thinking. At all. But oh well. This is floor 9. And there's a bunch more names. And they will all go down. Everybody's crazy, except for me and Maria. Damn, it was targeting her. Double teaming her. Come on, let's get this over with. Just die now. Is it just me or is Ripper actually hitting twice? I I know as I take like three lots of damage when I'm hit by Ripper. Wow, that has gotta be one powerful weapon. Be able to do that. Okay, now let's check out this chest. Oh, I can't. I don't see a waterfall, I have to go above it. Oh well, that shouldn't be a problem. Neither should be these, these guys. As long as they don't keep casting a fuse all the time, which of course they do. Oh, come on. These guys sure love to use their magic. Try this again. I mean, the more I level up teleport, at least it's going to be better for Ultima as well. Yep, 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 Ripper does take like two lots of damage on its own. That was a very powerful dagger to do that. Wow. Oh, well, this battle shouldn't... I hope it wouldn't last too long, but it seems like it is. 
there. Now, let's see what's in this chest. Black robe, monster in a box. Holy crap. It's a white dragon. Okay. I think fire is its weakness. If I remember correctly, fire dragon uses ice magic. Uh, berserk. Haste. And protect. Because the white dragon likes to use physical attacks too. Ooh, Ice Storm level 16. I've dealt with Ice Storm enough in my Final Fantasy 1 LP. Against standard Ice Dragons. I don't even know why I'm buffing up my physical status. I mean, physical stats, I mean, not even attacking. Well, maybe I will work hard, but that's another story. And we're gonna use Cure. Guy, you use Shell. Heard you attack. Okay, White Dragon's still alive. Not good. Got him! Huh. How about that? Alright, nice work, Ricard. Now, who should get the Black Robe? Oh, there's Black Garb. Why don't we upgrade to Black Robe? And now nah, that's second. Well, enhances intelligence. I think I'll put that on anyway. Okay, that battle didn't last too long, and I gave Guy the Black Garb this time. You know, just to help him out. We'll do him a little bit better than that ice armor. All right, I'll see what's in. Uh, uh, let me finish this battle, then I'll try to decide what door I want. Door number one, door number two, door number three, or door number four. Um. I'm not a gambling man, except for sometimes on a VLT, but I hardly win. I'll go with door number three. And I was unlucky. Door number two, then. Okay, that one's lucky. Tenth floor, finally. Minwoo, how's it going, buddy? I've been waiting for you, Farion. Though I've managed to reach the seal, the magic binding it appears to be extremely strong. I will concentrate every bit of power I have on the door. If it is enough, the seal should shatter. Oh, stop hitting me! Everyone, stand back. What's going on? Come here! Ah! Oh, that was a little bit too early. Why is it shooting on Skittles? Get the Skittles! Before they disappear in a rainbow! Oh, and Min was dead. Dying, actually. Stop jerking him off, Maria! Min Woo! Go! Through the door! You must take Ultima! Do not grieve. This, this was my destiny. Min Woo. Oh, cue the music of death. Oh, the white mage of Mysidia is gone. Let us grieve. Ah, fuck it, let's continue. Look at these. So these are the four crystals. I bestow upon thee the power of burning flame. Your strength increases. It either goes to your whole party or one random member, I can't really decide. We'll just say whole party, just for everyone to be happy. Solitude of Earth. Your spirit increases. Okay. Nice. I bestow upon thee the sparkling clarity of water. Intelligence increases. Okay, I'm guessing this one increases in agility, so let's take a look at everyone's stats for agility. 40, 42, 52, 36. Okay, let's see whose agility increases. Alright, let's find out. 40, 42, 62, 36. Oh, so it only affects like one person. Damn it, and this guy. Okay, next part, I will grab the final crystal, which is the ultimate home. Goodbye, everybody.